dear learners welcome you all in the course of statistics and numerical methods the course code is m a t h 3510 name of the topic is introduction to error and error propagation the measurement is the base of all experimental science and technology the result of every measurement by any measuring instrument contains some uncertainty and this uncertainty is called an error so let us start with today's topic introduction to error and how error propagates from variable to a function depends upon that variable learners can understand the topic with an ease if they are aware about basic mathematical operations and they must know the basic rules of differential and integral calculus at the end of this session learners will be able to round off a number they can define an error and how error propagates while computing before to define an error we must know some elementary terms on which error depends the first one is exact number numbers with which no approximation is taken are known as exact numbers for example the natural numbers like 1 2 3 these are exact numbers approximate numbers there are numbers which are not exact for example square root of 2 e as they contain infinitely many digits the numbers obtained by retaining few digits are called approximate numbers next one is rounding off numbers if we divide 2 by 7 this is a quotient which is a non terminating decimal fraction for using such a number in practice it is to be cut off a manageable size such as 0.285 or 0.29 the process of cutting off superfluous digits and retaining as many digits as desired is known as rounding off a number as you are aware about the approximate value of a number or round off value of a number now let us try to understand the concept of error with the help of an example if we want to measure the length of a mobile with the help of a scale the true value of the mobile is 7 inches but when we measure with the help of a scale it comes as 7.2 inches this is the error which is a difference of measured value and true value so which is 0.2 inches in the present case let us consider another example of vernier caliper the zero mark of vernier scale may not coincide with zero mark of main scale due to which an error occurs there are so many other examples when there is a difference between the measured value and the actual value so this gives us an idea of error let us define an error the error is defined as the difference between the exact value and the approximate value just look at the diagram here here there is a stick whose length is bigger than 25 unit but less than 26 so if we take 26 as the approximated value 
and the exact value is less than 26. So difference between the approximated value that we are taking, we can take 25 or even we can take 26. So approximate value and the exact value difference of these two is called an error. So this difference means error. It can be negative or positive. So, so to avoid the negative sign, we can consider the absolute error means only positive sign will take the absolute value of error is called absolute error so in this diagram also you can check you can see the actual value and this is the measured value difference between actual and measured is called absolute error error can be negative or positive but absolute error always we will consider it as positive value and next term is relative error if x dash is the approximate value of exact value x then the relative error is error divided by exact value and take modulus of this means relative error always will be positive and when we multiply this relative error with 100 then this is called percentage error okay let us solve an example the statement of the example is if 0 0.333 is the approximate value of 1 over 3 find absolute error relative error and percentage error so first of all we will consider 1 by 3 which is the exact value and we will denote it by x and as given the approximate value of 1 by 3 is 0 0.333 we will consider it as x dash therefore the absolute error it will be mode value of or mode of difference of exact and approximate value that is 1 by 3 minus 0 0.33 simplified and take only positive value that is absolute value which will be 1 divided by 3000 and when we solve it or simplify it it will be equal to 0 0.00033 this is the absolute error. Now, come to the relative error. Relative error is error divided by exact value. The error is 0 0.00033 divided by the exact value 1 by 3. And when we simplify it, the result will be 0 0.00099. And the third one is percentage error. Percentage error is relative error times 100. And we solve it 0 0.00099 which is the relative error multiplied with 100. So answer is 0 0.099. So by this way on the basis of definitions we can calculate error, relative error absolute error and percentage error types of errors the first one is inherent error errors which exist in the problem itself for example if we consider the area of a circle which we know that is pi r square and for calculating the area of a circle we are using the approximated value of pi which is 3.14 because we are using the approximated value of pi therefore some error will occur due to this approximated value and such type of error is called inherent error next one the round of errors as name suggests the error 
arises due to rounding off the numbers during the process of computation. For example, if we have a number which is too big after decimal point, so we can approximate it or round it up to three or four decimal places. This is the exact value and we are considering the approximated value 8.2676 so difference between the exact and the approximated value is called the round of error next one is truncation error truncation error arise by truncating the infinite series to some approximate terms for example we know that the expansion of cos x is 1 minus x square by 2 factorial plus x4 by 4 factorial minus x6 by 6 factorial plus x8 by 8 factorial and so on up to infinite. But we are using up to 3 or 4 terms means we are truncating the series up to three or four terms so error occurs due to truncating the series is called truncation error propagation of errors by propagation of errors we mean an error occurring in the succeeding steps of a process due to the occurrence of an earlier error Suppose we are given two numbers and these numbers contain some errors. Then by performing any mathematical operation on the numbers, the resultant will also be erroneous. If we have a function of one or more independent variables and if there exists any error in independent variables, then the dependent variable will also be affected due to accumulation of errors. This process is called as propagation of errors. Now let us consider why is a function of two independent variables x1 and x2 and if delta x1 and delta x2 be the errors in the values of x1 and x2 then the error in value of y will be given by y plus delta y equal to f x1 plus delta x1 x2 plus delta x2 now we can expand it by taylor series which is equal to function at x1 x2 plus partial derivative of the function with respect to x1 into delta x1 plus partial derivative of the function with respect to x2 delta x2 and we can neglect the higher powers of delta x1 and delta x2 because these are very small so its scales and cubes we can neglect we have considered the given equation as equation number one and consider it as equation number two now subtract equation number one from equation number two which gives us delta y is equal to partial derivative of the function with respect to x1 delta x1 plus partial derivative of the function with respect to x2 delta x2 so this will give us the error in the value of dependent variable if we know the errors in independent variables delta x1 delta x2 then we can calculate the error in the dependent variable similarly if y is a function of 
n independent variables on the same steps we can find error in the dependent variable in terms of error in the independent variable let us solve a question given by find the percentage error in the area of a rectangle when an error of plus 1 percent in measuring its length and breadth let us consider a is the area of a rectangle whose length is x and y be the breadth we have given that error of 1 percent in measuring its length and breadth it means delta x divided by x into 100 because there is a formula of percentage error error divided by exact value into 100 so delta x divided by x into 100 is equal to 1 similarly delta y divided by y into 100 is equal to 1 these two values are known to us now we have to calculate the percentage error in the area of a rectangle since rectangle a is given by x into y therefore error in the area a it will be partial derivative of a with respect to x delta x plus partial derivative of a with respect to y delta y right now when we differentiate a with respect to x we will get y and partial derivative of a with respect to y it will be x now what we will do divide on both sides with a a is the area of a rectangle so da divided by a on the right hand side in place of a we can substitute x y so y delta x divided by x y y will cancel with y it will remain as delta x divided by x and when we write x y in the denominator of x delta y we will get delta y divided by y multiply on both sides with 100 on the left hand side it will be da divided by a into 100 is equal to delta x divided by x into 100 plus delta y divided by y into 100 and delta x divided by x into 100 value is equal to 1 similarly delta y divided by y into 100 value is 1 so 1 plus 1 2 it means percentage error in area of a rectangle is 2% here are some questions for your practice based upon the topic discussed here the first question is the radius of a circle is found to be 100 centimeter find the relative error in the area of a circle due to an error of 1 millimeter second question the radius of a sphere is found to be 10 centimeter with a possible error of 0 0.02 centimeter what is the relative error in computing the volume for more study and practice learners can go through the mentioned references thank you very much for your patience have a great learning